Hey everyone, Pastor Brock here. I'm so excited to give you the morning diva this morning. We're going to be in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, beginning in verse 7. Solomon writes this, I observed yet another example of something meaningless under the sun. This is the case of a man who was all alone, without a child or a brother, yet who works hard to gain as much wealth as he can. But then he asked himself, who am I working for? Why am I giving so, up so much pleasure now? It's also meaningless and depression. And Solomon then later goes to write, two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm, but how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. How many know that the reason why the majority of people isolate is because other people have hurt them? And I find it fascinating that the thing that usually can bring the most healing also causes the most hurt. Isolation happens for many reasons, but I find it um, to be most common that people isolate themselves from the hurt that they've experienced from other people. But here we see Solomon, who wrote this thousands of years ago, had the wisdom and the understanding to know that we are made to do life together. That's how God wired us. That's how God created us. He did not create us to be isolated beings, but rather communal beings. Jesus communed with the people here on earth. God himself, God is human, chose to be close to people and chose 12 people to actually be very close to and do life together. This morning, I wanna encourage you that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. And how he does that many times is by other people encouraging us, building us up, and strengthening us. But we can't do that all alone. Now, to be honest with you, we have awesome tools called uh, your iPhone or your Android, however you use, iPads, computers, social media. All these things are great tools for connection but what we actually see is that sometimes they're the, also the greatest tools to hurt connection or actually create isolation. And so today I want to encourage you that as a believer, we have a mandate of connecting with everyone. We have a responsibility to share the good news wherever we're at, whether virtually or in person. But one of the things I want to encourage you too is that we also have a mandate to gather together. There's something unique that Jesus has designed for us to be together, not just on screens, but actually being in the same room. I wanna encourage you that if you feel like you're in a season where you're, you're kind of battling depression or you, or you feel like, man, I'm just all alone, take the initiative and reach out to someone. I want you to know that God uses the most unlikely people to impact your life, to encourage you, to strengthen you. And I know that in my own life, when I have felt isolated and alone, God has used other people to build me up, to strengthen me, to give me a timely word that busts me out of my isolation and shows me that I am created to be with people. And just like Solomon says, a triple braided cord is not easily broken. We got to be with people. We have to be with each other. It's how God made us. And what better way to do that by practicing going, hey, I might not feel like it, but I'm choosing to be with my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm choosing to be with people because we are better together. Well, I hope you have an amazing morning, Life Church, and those who are watching this uh, video. Um, I look forward to seeing you this Sunday, and uh, God bless.